Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the quarterfinals now. We are watching Google Frog versus Fred, the last quarterfinals match on Intersection. Yep, this is it. another Intersection game where we've seen quite a little few of those. And these are brought to you by... Well, Anarchid, I guess. I mean, Anarchid's the one organizing this. Thank you, Anarchid, for organizing this. And he did set Intersection to be the first map of the quarterfinals games. That's why we're uh, seeing exactly. it a lot. Anyway... Google Frog going for light vehicles as Fred goes for shields. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. that I love to see this. <laughs> it's an interesting matchup, that's for sure, especially if felon balls come up because, man, vehicles have to really push against that. Like, vehicles have to kind of flank and avoid while shields just press through the center. Well, I'm really curious if he's going to try to do a bandit spam game. Oh, yeah. On this map, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea, given the size of it. It's just... Uh, exactly. Hmm. Yeah, last game we saw in here was Cloaky versus Heavy Tanks. No, I think really I saw weird. that one. It was <laughs> yeah, a weird was game. Same idea, but with heavier and lighter classes, respectively. Yeah, uh, because I think uh, with extreme. enough Bandit Micro, you can beat small groups of uh, Scorchers. Oh, certainly. Bandits have enough health for that. And enough damage. And it it's... Sorry, go on. Yeah, oh. when you stay at maximum range with the Bandit, you can do all your few damage while the Scorchers do just a little part of it. Yeah, though... And you can dodge the Heat Rays by wiggling the, the Bandit. That's true, and it does wiggle a lot faster than the Scorcher does. And the Scorcher attack range compared to the Bandit attack range it's is bigger. about even. So yeah, it's slightly bigger, right? right mate, a check. lot of things change in it's 0k little, all the time. Okay, 240 for Bandit. Two, okay, Scorcher has 30 extra range on the Bandit, so the Scorcher can kite the Bandit effectively, although the Bandit's not going to be fast enough. It's like, have to circle around the Bandit. Yeah, exactly. Or dive. One of the two. Well, the thing, the thing is, with Eric, I, uh, I come by every couple months, and then so much change just uh, every time. You gotta come by more often. What are you doing? <laughs> Playing other games and working. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure if you were aware of it, but the commanders changed. Oh yeah, that was very, I mentioned that, that earlier in the cast, that the 132, okay. or 1232 change in the economy. Very cool though, I was actually <laughs> able to use my other commanders that are in my repertoire. I actually have to change a bunch of them too, since they're not going to need as many E-cells. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I like it yet, but I'll have to see how it how it works oh, out and, uh, in the long run. Oh, battle, small raid in the west. Oh, nice retreat, kiting. retreat, 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 nice retreat, retreat, retreat. Nice for Google Frog. Yeah. And Fred just walking into that. I don't know if he realizes the speed difference, but that is not working out at all. Nope. Google Frog gets out of there. And a nice dart coming in from the north as well. That'll be useful. All the bandits out of position. Uh, I, oh, is there there is radar. Fred he sees, sees it. This, yeah, Fred does see this coming, but still. There's... Oh, what? No, Frog's not going for it. The shield spot... The bandits are able to get back in position. Ouch. Yeah, you see, the thing is, um, really, on this map, you do not want to walk up that ramp until you have won for sure. Because you're most definitely not going to win any fight walking up that ramp. Walking up, sure, but the thing is at that point, admittedly, Google Frog was blind. He didn't know. But at that point, there no, was it's a risk. Pop. You cannot take it. That's you true. have to assume your opponent knows. Even with a single dart? Yeah, it's just a dart. Even if it's a commander, uh, a dart, uh, a bandit, I mean, or a, some form of defense. That's true. A dart is just to keep track of that max to see when the constructor comes down or when he's moving out of an army which admittedly and he did find the moving out of the army that's for sure exactly and that's much more val that's more valuable than a chance of getting in and maybe hit a max with the dart well that's information a fair is point. more valuable and that attack is coming down in the southeast at the same time google frog going into the west with slashers taking no, out is, a lotus no this is very bad for uh, for our fred yeah, losing he that does Lotus not have anything free, to do with this. I mean, his, well, B, oh, particle beam on his commander, but even then, nowhere near enough range. And it's a support uh, commander, too. So we saw last game, recon commander is the one that has the easy time dealing with this, <laughs> not support. Yeah, he can jump into range and just shoot those slashes. But not support. They certainly yep. can't. Fred uh, is not that good at multitasking, by the way. Oh, the bandit <laughs> yeah. running into the center, that's, that's going to help. Yeah, nice, it's one next nice. less. Nice, not getting rid of that max. Yeah, no, that admittedly, certainly is. Google Frog is still ahead, but at this point, that was a free shot. I think, no, he can go south. If Fred goes south, takes out these 
metal extractors over here. I, I, yeah, I see him. The outskirts. That will work, I think. Yeah, but he can not, overrun going, that single He is going up the ramp. He's he shouldn't. Very mistake. He's making that very mistake. And, this and we shall see why it is indeed a mistake. Look, uh, he loses for his entire the army. Scorchers. There goes the bandits. All the bandits going down. The slasher's not taking enough damage to justify that. Nothing taking damage at all. Nothing dying. Except the yeah. bandits. The bandits died a lot. So here's another strategy tip of the day. Um, if you're, especially in this stage of the game, you do not want to go for the main base yet. Just focus on hitting the outskirts and hitting the metal extractors, just like you said. Yeah. This area is where you want to hit. Most this, certainly. This, this is where you want to look and where you want to even, hit. Even down here, even in the corner over here, that yeah. you'd want to hit. Exactly. Actually, this is totally open, too. That'll he doesn't even know it's to go. there yet. And that's really no excuse, because right now, I mean, Glue Fog does have map control and sees most of the map, but still. Mm -hmm. At this point, hey, see a rogue. Fog. It's nice. Yeah, nice to have it, but the slashers really are just outranging it. It's going to... It's not going to yeah. do a thing. Oh, wow. Actually, three rogues would be useful, though. Three or four rogues against those slashes would take them out. But now Google Frog has Reclaim Field. All his own. And getting yep. a Faraday. Getting yes, a Faraday, I, I, too, just to solidify that. Just in case. He really likes those. He makes them every game. Hey, they're a pain to deal with. Gotta say. Yeah. They... they really are a pain. Oh, and a roach coming in! Nice That's roach explosion. Good trade. Good trade. Yes, very nicely done. I agree. If but you that, mostly let's deterrent. Have a, That's the let's big Let's have thing, a quick look at uh, at uh, the income overview. I see twenty metal and three k army value against fifty metal and two point nine army value. Yeah, so army's even. Defense is Google Frog's advantage. Google Frog's basically been pouring all of his extra metal into defense at this point. I'd say. Exactly. Which oh. is with this Faraday tough to deal with. Admittedly. Yeah, the thug's gonna be thrown off by that. Actually, no, EMP doesn't penetrate shields, so thug's not fun for the roach. Nice, another not as good roach trade, but still gets rid of a couple more scorches. A nice deterrent. That's really what that's been right so far for Fred is just keeping Frog out of his base, just pushing him away. So there's a bit of breathing room. The problem now is, as you can see, um, uh, they lo lock down their armies and their the focus of their attention and their resources and turrets. Uh, in one location, and this benefits Google Frog uh, immensely because yeah, he's the one that can uh, gets more uh, metal from the rest of the map, and he's using the rest of the map more. Yeah, and this is something that I think Fred is really making a mistake on is that he just needs enough units in case a push comes in. I would think I don't think he needs enough units otherwise. He can go around. Everything else is undefended, like completely undefended. So yeah, Fred could go more glaive. More, I mean, more bandits and. Yeah. A lot of more of those uh, thugs. Half dozen bandits would just going around the map at least force Google Frog back a bit, make him yep. lay off and build some defenses around the back. But Fred's so insistent on this one south or one west ramp heading south that yep. not doing many favors. I folded. He's, he is forcing Google Frog back regardless. Yeah, I folded. Uh, Faraday's can take a lot of damage. Indeed, and that's going to be an issue. And the thing is, he wants to target the commander. Yeah, he wants to set target on that slasher now and move forward with the thugs and his commander. Oh, actually, one thing to point out, Google Frog does not have an ESOL in his commander. No, but that, still a commander. Yeah, that's huge, because that... I mean, Google Frog basically doesn't care as much if his commander snipes. Well... He just... Just to interrupt you, he made a, an air factory and he's making bombers now. Oh, <laughs> nice. And that's why... That's one of the reasons I like having a second commentator, because that's a very important thing to point out. Two shadows coming up, probably going to get the standard that's four before a snipe. Yeah, that's also exactly the reason why he's able to break this position, because... Um, Google Frog doesn't care. Yeah, no, because Fred was uh, putting all his resources into something to break that position while Google Frog wasn't reinforcing oh, oh, it. Fred, Fred is on the ball. He's getting... Yeah, he's, his uh, army is getting momentum, but now he doesn't want to overextend and get bombed to oblivion. No, but the thing is, he is getting vandal, so he is prepared for this. I'm not sure if he scouted it or if it's just a matter of timings. But no, you, you, you cannot... Uh, save yourself from a bumper run with vandals. No, you need, you need a lot of. You need a dozen at least. But yeah, he ridiculous still, investment. He does still have the right idea. He knows what's coming. He's probably oh. better off getting hacksaws, but still, he knows what's coming. Oh, did you see that scorcher on the right? 
Yeah, the Scorcher getting rid of the... I missed most of that, though, but it did... Yeah, he sent in three, and he lost all of them. In, in, on a second... Uh, last second reload of the missile turret that got rid of the uh, Scorcher. Ah, how did I miss that? That was so silly of me. But anyway, and Fred, Fred is, is accessing like crazy. Oh, boy, Fred, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, he is. My goodness. And total miss by Google Frog, too. Did not get the defenders there. Not getting the else. Stiletto coming in, however, for... Go oh, wait, is that... Yeah, that was Google Frog getting rid of Fred's army. Dis disarming most of it. And no felons for Fred, by the way. He hasn't actually had any gone now felon he, balls. Totally now he wants to reinforce with bandits like crazy and move the army back. But he's not. Well, he's starting yep. to, but he hasn't been. Yeah. And the vandals are up, but not great at this point. And Lowry... Sorry, not Lowry. Fred. I don't think Lowry. He's out of the tournament right now. Fred, his commander, is... Well, not too terribly unsafe, but not a target. It will be soon. Mm, That's going to yeah. be a problem. And there comes a Scorcher attack in once again. That's going to be... Well, that's going to be a deterrent. Fred able to reclaim a bit, but at this point, I think Google Frog is a matter of... Let's see, he has his bombers. He has a lot of stilettos. That's a big thing. Yeah, at this but point, Fred cannot do much. He cannot move out he until he has something out. to... Oh, Razor, of course. There's another one. Yes, he can't he move to, out, but he, he has also... to invest in anti air and he. Google Frog doesn't need to do anything. He just has to patrol on the edge of uh, the AA range. He's investing a lot in air, though. I mean, that's the thing. Like, Google Frog is investing a lot in this. Fred does have a bit of breathing room when it comes mm -hmm. to anti air. A bit, not a whole lot. Especially since all those bandages got disarmed, but still. Yeah. It does seem like there's a bit of room just for Fred to at least stabilize somewhat. But nah, but pressure this entire but, game. But Google Frog is just slowly bombing all these other expansions. Oh, that's true. I mean, Fred pretty much needs to outrate that too. And that's and something I wanted to mention uh, for a while. I'm not sure if you or any of the viewers are aware of it, but Scorchers uh, always do their maximum damage against shields, even if they're on maximum range. Oh, I thought that was bugged. Uh, for, for as far I know, it's still there, so they are okay, still very I, no, good I thought, against... I thought it was uh, bugged that it wasn't actually dealing the intended max damage against shields. But oh, if it, oh, my knowledge is at least three months old, so okay, am so I that, talking that out of my uh, bottom? That bug must have been fixed then, because shields... If you're right about the shields thing, because like I said, I believe you're right that they're supposed to do that. I just don't remember if they actually were. Okay. Either that or it was that it was bugged. I can't remember exactly. We'll see, though, when it actually happens again, because it's bound to. And Google Frog gets rid of the expansion of the Northeast. Yeah, Ouch. he's been uh, uh, bombing that steadily. Uh, that's the yeah, thing with uh, anti-air. It's slow and it's expensive, and you just bomb when where there is no anti-air. And Fred and, is so focused on saving his commander. Yeah, and at the, once uh, the, your opponent has covered his land with enough AA, you stop with the bombing, and you just save them up for when your opponent attacks also, and Google bomb Frog in your own land and you invest back into uh, your own land force. Right, but Google Frog isn't doing that. He's going for Avengers. I think he expects I don't yeah, know, that's, correctly that's, so, expecting Fred to go for air. I think he wants uh, one Avenger to boost over his uh, base to give it a scout. It's not just one, it's three. Actually, oh, four. it's three. Wow. Yeah, he's getting four Avengers. He's expecting that and correctly so, like I said, that Fred is going for air himself. I think oh, that's Fred... oh boy, I think this is a mistake. Or I mean, is it gets... a gamble, or did he see it? It's a gamble, I think, but Fred is going to be... Okay, now he sees it. Now he knows for sure. Google Frog's fully aware of what's going on. Loses that Avenger, but gets a ton of intel. I mean, maybe if he goes, for... if Fred goes for Phoenixes against the Slasher, the Scorchers, that might work. But going purely for Vamps right now, that's not going to help too much. Granted, no, that... not at all. That might help a little bit. There's not a whole lot of anti-air for Google Frog. He hasn't been building up that much. Yeah, on the other hand, he can afford to uh, keep up with uh, Fred's uh, Air Force. He is yeah, almost tripling true. his income, or 14 against 40. Oh, easily, especially with all the raiding going on. Now, all the reclaim's done. Fred's out of reclaim. He's building more mexes, but that's not enough. And a roach! Nice! Oh, that's Fred's. Well, still, nicely set up, just in case the Scorchers come in. Good place for a landmine. Oh, yeah. Although I noticed that last game, or not last game, a few games ago, that the roaches were not properly, I think it was Kmar's roaches, they were you see standing the, up. Like they were you getting see up the, and moving. The missile launcher on the, on the lower left? Oh, nice. Missile silo. 
Thank you for pointing no, that out. <laughs> I'm wondering, is he going to for Shockley or Napalm? Oh, probably Napalm. Inferno, yeah, it's Napalm. Against shields, you can do a lot with those Shockleys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just... Everyone goes Napalm, so I was expecting Napalm. Like, even the yeah. first, the very first mass I cast had Napalm nukes in it. Wasn't that great, though, but it worked. I mean, it did ultimately... No, it lost. That was KMR versus Lowry, the first game there. And KMR was able to pull through, despite being shot by Napalm missiles several times. Yeah. It's uh, good to point out that this is a, a very big investment. Uh, the I launcher itself is 1,200 metal, and the missiles are uh, 500 is, apiece. But it's in! It hits, and those... Wind generators are going down. The caretaker is going to take a fair amount of damage. Factories are fine. Convicts, yeah. possibly dead. Not sure. However, I'm not sure. I think I would have hit uh, the bandits with the napalm and yeah, just run it all. <laughs> best option. Now a nuke that would be where you'd want to put it. And what do we have here? It's is that another inferno? Yeah, yes, it's another inferno. He's spamming infernos. I'm surprised he's not mixing Eos' and infernos because. Against the factories, I'm pretty sure that the AOS is a much better option. I don't think he wants to kill the factories. He's not interested in fi killing, spending... Uh, to, uh, let's put it this way. If you want to kill a factory with missiles, you'd have to spend more metal into the missiles than the factory's worth. That's true. AOS is 600. Although, admittedly, if he hits the center, then now it's too late. But if he hits the center with it, kills both factories, that's at least 1,200 for 600. But even now, yeah. No, I don't. The, the AOE, the damage uh, wears off, and the blast radius is pretty small from it. That's true. Regardless, well, anyway, why one of the factories in the first place in that case? I have no idea. This is just a waste of money, throwing napalm like this. Yeah, I'm, surprised <laughs> he, I'm really surprised I'm not going for the bandits because right now Fred does have a bit of a chance as a result. Not if much. I would be, I would have. If I would be Fred now, I would be happy because this is a fortune worth of missiles being wasted. And I would restart a, fa uh, a factory right now. In... Yeah, build it elsewhere and then just yeah use that. Not doing that, though. And because he's not doing that, he's not taking advantage of the situation, like you say. But, I mean, he's... Exactly, but on the other hand, uh, Google Frog's economy is so much bigger than uh, Fred's, he can afford it. He Definitely. can kill him with uh, Napalm now. At this point, I'd say all... that really it's just a matter of Google Frog needs to push in. Now, Fred... Lose is going southwest. I think Google Frog's probably using this as bait. Probably gonna just wait until the army goes southwest and then move in with the Scorchers to kill. I would guess. Getting Stilettos yeah. through. Oh wow, those Stilettos did a great job. Most yeah, of the this... are now useless. No, he still moves forward. <laughs> Ouch, bad, bad multitasking there. And nearly seems of a roach though. Fred did roach out a couple of the Scorchers, push them back a bit. But still, yep. Fred, his entire army, for nothing. For nothing. And exactly. Nice bait by Google Frog, though. Definitely made that work, but factories are now gone. Both I think it's gone. GG time. <laughs> this is GG time. That's game one. Yup. So, where Google Frog is firing this. Okay, what the. Did he just. I think he just puts it on a sort of permanent. I guess it's, yeah, it's on a permanent shot. It's just it's on, on repeats, yeah. That's all it's doing because there's no reason to attack this anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not that Google Fog needs to care. And a vamp goes and dies. Not that it much matters anymore. At this point, Fred is got nothing. I mean, he has some roaches. It's... Does he have a constructor even? <laughs> oh, I think not. Let's check. Uh -huh. Nope. Dead in the water. Only nope. hope he has is constructor. I th no constructors. There, commander. Commander's down. Constructors are all. Absent, dead, no constructors left. Yeah, the only hope he has <laughs> is these vamps, and they cannot hit ground. Nope. There's, that's it. I, we, yeah, it's just a matter of time. I don't know why Fred hasn't thrown in the towel yet, but definitely going to now. And yeah, this is why I was kind of surprised at the shield fact, because of the amount of maneuverability that the vehicles have on this map. Uh -huh. And their Google Frog goes for it. That Roche didn't do too much, killed a Scorcher. The rest of them getting hit by Napalm. Oh, crap! That Okay, the Napalm is not attacking, I think. If it attacks again, I mean, Scorchers took a lot of damage as a result of that. Google Frog is hurting himself more than Fred is at this point, but Fred throws in the towel. That is game. Game? Not match yet. Indeed, not match. You got one more, maybe two. Yeah, I think that if anything, it's going to be a matter of 
Well, matter of whether or not Fred figures out what he did. Like, mm, yeah, he was too passive, I think, and he wasted too much units with the bended attack. And didn't go around. Up the ramp. That, that breaking through, breaking that contain is not. You gotta go around and contains. Breaking contain is never worth it because the contain is just to keep you to buy time to get tech, as we saw. Like in general, for RTS games. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think in general, just never try to win the game or attack a, a base or a factory unless you are sure you can kill it. I mean, unless you're really sure. And yeah. that's usually not the case uh, during the first five minutes. Just look for constructors, hit metal extractors. Not the factory, it's it's a big gamble and it hardly pays off. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going to... Almost never. Oh, yeah. Next game, so... Again, welcome back, 0K fans, to game two, two, I guess, between Google Frog and Fred. And I'm joined yes, with is. Floris. Yeah, that's me, Floris. And as we can see, we have Google Frog and Fred. Whoever wins fights Drone. Whoever wins fights Randy. And whoever loses of that fights Lowry for third place. Anyway, the game has started between Frog and Fred. Game two. Fred with... Cloakies, that's that's interesting, and we got vehicles from Google Frog. I wouldn't have expected anything else from him. Nope. Now let's see what he does with this. Let's see if he uh, watched uh, Randy's oh. games. He doesn't care about Randy at all. He's going pure slasher, <laughs> defensive or posture apparently. Yeah, slasher and a constructor. He just wants to, I guess, go for the late game in this one. I'm a bit surprised though, given that. Okay, is he going he to jump to game. get that dart? No, he doesn't. Oh, that dart to... is not doing anything. Oh, yeah, it's scouting. He... It is exactly. doing the main job. It is scouting, and that's fine. Uh, I'm not sure if it, if it saw the rector. Did it touch the rector? I, I didn't see didn't it. didn't see it do that, no. The rector is director's cloaked right now, so I think Google Frog is not fully aware of what Fred is doing. And Google Frog going for the useless metal extractor. Well, not useless, but the less useful metal extractors. Yeah, in that position, I really like to get to this point earlier. Yeah, go to the center. Person. I'm a bit surprised Google Frog's doing that. It's easier to defend, even though it's closer to your opponent. I think it's, it's also because it's closer to you, and there's, I mean, there's a choke point here, yes, but that's... Why would you do your, that? <laughs> your units are more likely to be close to that max than they are likely to be close to those side maxes. Indeed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and Glaive's coming in, however... They are coming up through the side maxes from the looks of it. Through the bottom, they're not going to be able to do too much. Yeah, nobody makes those. That's a free passage. <laughs> <laughs> or passage. Maybe that's why Google Frog did, just to see what was going on. <laughs> but he doesn't care if he loses the maxes, but he does care if he knows what's coming. Oh, that's a particle beam. Er. Yep. Uh, I think it's too strong, by the way. Oh, I was mentioning talk. earlier that there's a lot of there's kind of a debate of whether or not that or laser is the strongest weapon of the two. And no more for Fred at this point. I'd go with Particle Beam. Definitely. Mm. More range and almost the same DPS. Yeah. I yeah, think it's I, just flat out better. I can see that. Fred going for Recon Con this time. I guess he learned his lesson about the Support Con. Google Frog also going for Recon. Recon's really popular now that the Econ change has gone through. Yeah, you can still get the full Eco bon bonus and mobility. Wow. I was a bit surprised. I was expecting Battle Con to be more popular. But I can see mobility being very useful. Yeah, fast commanders are awesome. He has a Zeus, but he's not using it. If you're going to make a Zeus, you want to push with it straight away, Whoa. or you do not build it. Yeah, why is there a Zeus at two forty? The two forty-five mark in the game, there's a Zeus. That that is an interesting choice from Fred. Yeah, really, there are nice strategies possible with one Zeus. You rush it out and you reinforce it with glaives, and you push with the Zeus and the commander. But well, that's not happening at the moment. <laughs> no, I mean, the commander isn't even upgraded. It's not even a, If it was a battle comic, it's no, a level one battle comic. It's easy. You, you can uh, upgrade it now. When you're halfway uh, through the map, you start to upgrade, and you have the Zeus, and you have your upgraded commander when oh, the fight Fred, starts. He is going for it. He's doing exactly what you're saying, though. He's supporting with Rocco's, but the commander not upgraded. It should start to upgrade soon. You think so? Or, yeah, otherwise, there's no point for him being there. <laughs> no, he's just. He's trying to contain, but he's not pushing. And I think a Scorcher Dive is going to be coming up in a couple seconds. Let's see, though. That Zeus is a defense. I think he wanted 
to use the Zeus to uh, zap and paralyze the uh, Scorchers? Probably, but... Just to make sure the ra you cannot raid without taking attrition? Yeah, but he's not... Well, he's not pushing in like you said, and the contain here is not great. Mm. Rocco's doing what they can against the Slashers, but not enough. Yeah. Uh, Rocco's, they're nice. They're undervalued. They are, especially against spiders. They're awesome against spiders. They're but... awesome against everything. They're awesome against scorches too. You. <laughs> That's true. I mean, really, that is. I found you can get definitely one and a half, uh, one and a half Roko for each scorcher. <laughs> yeah, and like, I have been finding that after Glaive, Rocco was the unit to spam, if anything. Exactly. Just a move them all over the place. But Google Frog not... looks like he's going north. Fred's taking the north. Frog is not quite taking it, but he's certainly attacking it there. The, the next move will decide the game. Yeah, if Fred goes... I think Fred's going to try to cut through the center if he knows this is going on. But I don't see him doing that. I don't think he has radar coverage. No, he does over those. He, he sees him coming now. He, um, this is... A but at the same time, North, North Assault! Fred losing the uh, power Come on, you have a Zeus and it's... It's the Zeus is out of position! Those Rockos are going down for free! Zeus finally gets into position, but even then, it's holding position too much, too far away, and <laughs> Google Frog takes it out too easily. Nothing, nothing you is together. You take in the Zeus first, and then the Glaives come after. Nothing. Oh, that was such a great setup, but it was just not yeah. positioned properly. That could have just wrecked that entire position. And now this is a reclaim field. This whole field is Frogs. Google Frog has... I think taking it. I think this is game. Fred just lost his economy, or a large part of it. Yeah. His army. Uh, I, and uh, maybe build. that warrior can change something. He has two no. of those. I don't think this. Google Frog's not going to run those scorches into that warrior. I can't see that happening. <laughs> no. Maybe if this uh, switched seats. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that happening. I do see. The Warriors are trying to come up to the Scorchers, but I think the Scorchers keep running away. And I don't think that Fred's going to catch Google Frog off guard. However, Tick coming in, stuns... Come on, Zeus, do something. <laughs> the Raptors. But, eh, Okay, the other Raptors stunned. Good. But the, the Scorchers oh. continue to run away. Oh, and now actually getting hit out. The Scorchers not able to deal with this too easily. In the center of the map, the Zeus trying to take out that last Raptor. One of the Raptors will die, that's for sure. And finally, finally, Fred upgrades his commander. Yeah, Probably Beam Laser, still. It looks like, I, I think Fred is a bit out of practice. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a long time, even when I wasn't, haven't been uh, on Zero K for quite, quite some time. Uh, no, I haven't seen I didn't see that. Fred uh, that much either. And Glaive's coming, there we go. That, I guess this is what you were talking about in the first place, what was supposed to happen. Yeah. Glaive supported Zeus and Commander push. But Commander's uh, at half health, the Zeus, I mean, Commander... Shotgun and Nano Lathe. Well, I guess that supports his strategy somewhat. Surprise of the shotgun, yeah, though. If it would have been a uh, an auto repair. Yeah, auto repair and particle beam. That would make a lot more sense. Or auto repair and shotgun. I, I meant uh, Fred's commander. Right. No, I mean Fred's commander. Oh, you think shotgun would work? Okay. He's going to level two. Google Frog. He is indeed just about gotten there as well. And the attack from the south. Glaive's doing a fair amount of damage too. Getting rid of the Lotus, getting rid of the mechs. Uh, perfect. Google Frog, his commander. I'll check his commander afterwards, but I think his commander is. Oh, what am I want? Oh, uh, but this is now. Google Frog has a commander that is so stupid. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, I, I say that. He, yeah. He's spanging uh, re, uh, Nano Lathe modules, yep. so now you can. Reclaim turret twice push. As fast. Now you can turret push. He doesn't have to spend money in his factory, he will build turrets in your face. Yeah, and not just that, his reclaim is going to be double. It does increase reclaim rate, right? Yeah, also, yeah, he uh, reclaims at triple speed now. Isn't it double speed? I thought nanolays were five each. Ten each, right? No, oh, he's got no. 20 build power. He has two nanolays, it's 20 build power. Okay, so then. Five each. That's oh, still sure. huge. That's that. Yeah, on top of everything else, the only the only weakness he has right now, although admittedly he's starting to excess, is that he only has 12 metal income. He does have the North under his control, but he hasn't actually invested in it. He's just no, the, taking the there border. There are not uh, much uh, metal extractors there. They all well, got killed. No, but there are a lot of metal spots. And the yep. Ravagers, however, are not doing a great job here in the North. 
Mason going oh. down some glaives from Fred. Fred is doing something r good right now. He's using those glaives to take out the flanks. Yes, that's what he should have done in the first game. And he's doing it now. He has learned that lesson, that's for sure. Yeah, and don't that waste it all. You, you're behind in armies, so you do not want to trade armies at the moment. No. Oh, nice. Nice. Getting all the mexes in the base. Don't go to the factory. Go for the mexes. And two mexes down. Not wisely avoiding no, going back to the third. Stay go away from the flank. Oh, nice, nice, No, nice. not going for the flank, but that's fine, because that would have been suicide, probably. Now, at a second zoo, that would be perfect. Not forthcoming, though. Glaives are the only thing coming up from that factory. Similarly, Google Frog, Masons and Scorchers. Hmm. Yeah, um, uh, Fred managed to get the good Maxis. Yes, He's... and that is a huge thing to point out. He is, he is actually whoa! He's got double Google Frog's economy. Uh, Google he's lacking in energy, reclaim. though. <laughs> oh, that's true. His energy is his bottleneck by a wide margin. Getting cannot... some solar plants in the center of the map. Interesting choice. He has no rectors. Oh, he has one rector. Two rectors. Yeah, one now that nano lathe really south. pays off if you are starving for energy, then you can just plump them down instantly with your commander. Yeah, and it looks like those glaives are starting to become a scary force. His are aren't yeah. doing much against them. and You should be Google very Scorch careful right with the... Uh, no, oh, no, he can Fred get going the factory. for another assault at the same time. Ravagers from the south. Fred in the east. Ravagers in the south. Ravagers getting rid of Fred's metal income, but Fred getting rid of Google Frog's main, getting rid of the masons. Not able to get rid of the factory, but that's actually that probably was a viable option at that point. He, he, he can take on those uh, few scorches. He and can kill take the factory. on those few scorches and take off the factory. However, the south, the Ravagers have destroyed it all. So Fred's a bit closer to the level of Google Frog. And the north, so many defenders, that's going to be suicide for the glaives. Half those glaives are going to die. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Oh, he is correct. Get out of no, get out of there. It's not going to work. It's not worth it. And he's he needs to be aware of those. But actually, no, it is worth it. He's Okay, he's lost half the glaives. That's still a problem. That's still a big problem. But it's not the biggest problem. Actually, there are still ravages there that needs to be dealt with. <laughs> That's the biggest problem. Yeah, definitely. Albert, has he been, he's not been spamming rockers. He's been spamming glaives. Oh, nothing now. No production right now. Fred's out of... Fred's not focusing on his factory. He's focusing too much on the front lines. Zeus doing what it can, but it's too slow to really work against Ravager. And the Glaives are out of position to deal with them. Not that they'd be able to deal with them that effectively, but it's it's something. Easier to dodge with Glaives. Yeah, now he needs to send down another constructor to rebuild the Big Macs. Mm -hmm. Now Google Frog is, a guy, is doing something Fred usually does, which is uh, retreating Ravages and repairing them. And this yep. is very hard to beat. Oh he might goodness. even lose his commander now. He's he might want to jump over his uh, solar to, now. There he goes. He's doing exactly the right thing. Getting over those that wall of solar collectors. And that's why you go for the Zeus. No, the Zeus is not going to make it. Is this going to kill it? No, it's not. And the defender doesn't help out either. But the last one does. Clutch defender killing that one Ravager. He has to do it with this army because he just lost his factory. Yes. So Fred, nice. Oh, Fred. Wow. Nicely done. Missed that one, but still. Yeah, the warriors will definitely help. Warrior yeah, and shotgun commander is enough for those three. Uh... Yeah, and the warriors on their own are enough for commander. Well, three warriors will be. Oh, uh... down goes the commander! Ouch! Fred loses his commander. Yeah, yeah no particle that, beam, go away. Oh my, that's that is painful because. Now, not a good position for those warriors to be in. They're trying to do what they can, but thankfully the, for the warriors, the repair is happening, but still, Google Frog pushing back in. Fred is not spamming as much as he needs to. Getting some ticks, too. Not a bad idea, but like it looks like this wall of solar collectors is Fred's only hope. The only thing keeping him in the game right now, because Google Frog's just focusing on those. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, those, those Natalates. The Dendalite Commander will reclaim everything now. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, so Google Frog has a bit of a chance here. And he's building another factory. That light vehicle yeah, factory course, is getting yeah. rebuilt. As it should be. As a proxy as well, and Caretaker coming in. Why is Fred building a Caretaker? I think he should make one sniper. I try to make one sniper now. Well, he's... No, he's not doing that. Yeah, I agree. Because that would be able to take care of this comm. And then that would at least slow down Google Frog a great deal. Because Google Frog's entire economy is coming from eating... Fred's commander. But no, Fred looks like he's trying to rebuild, and like I said, I don't know why he's building Caretaker. He cannot make use of it. No, he needs energy. Badly. He does, but he only has 12 metal and 5 energy. He can't actually 
build power is useless to him. Oh, he is repairing though. That is one. That is an important point. I see so it takes the energy. Also takes energy, repairing. It does indeed. Oh boy. And two ticks. These ticks are out of position. They are not in a good spot to stop the scorchers. And the factory's back up. Google Frogs, once again going and has 20 build power into that factory and 20 build power on reclaim. I think Google Frog is going to take this back. He's going to snatch victors from the jaws of defeat here. Fred's trying to get his tick in position, but not oh. nearly enough. Oh, that's just too... Oh, they reduced that's the range true. of those ticks. They did, yeah. They nerfed him a few patches ago. Ah, uh, it wasn't necessary, Fred, really. Warrior is going down. No, it's not. The warrior's going to be fine. The Scorcher's getting hit by the tick, and that warrior just needs to take care of those Scorchers before anything happens with them. Why is it not oh, taking care of them? Fred. Come on, Fred! Kill them all! Micro your units, move your mouse. Uh, looks like Fred's not... Okay, he's not quite so threatened. Google Frog's still ahead, though. But I think Fred's got a decent defense. He just doesn't need these caretakers. I do not understand the caretakers. He needs to expand, he needs to reclaim territory, and he's getting some. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I guess the... Google okay, Frog is morphing a, uh, a Reaper. Okay, that's game. <laughs> I'm if he manages right to finish it, if he manages to finish, he can one shot anything. Yeah, I mean it's game from the economy, but having that Reaper there on top of that. But I still, think. Fred isn't doing that badly. He's not. He has been doing very well this game. It's just that he had victory right in front of him, and he dropped the ball just barely. He botched micro big time, and he cannot push in. He does not. He needs to have. At least four times the army he has right now to push in. Yeah. And he's focusing too much on Glaze, I think. There isn't anything on this. There's nothing in the well, periphery to raid. Also, in a, uh, situations like this, uh, another tip you want to prevent your opponent from reclaiming and rebuilding his main base, and you want to have raiders like those Glaives at your opponent's main base. And that's very like, cheap and it's doable in and these Fred's doing situations. That, but he's, oh, he's trying to. He is getting pushed away by the Scorchers, pulling them yeah, away, but. Nothing he could to have, follow it up. He could have done that uh, a long time ago. Yeah, and there's nothing really to follow that up either because he's and not got Frog, his, yeah. his Zeus and Warrior are out of position to deal with the commander. Not that they have much chance, but still, they are not there. And the Scorcher's back in position. Whatever window was open is now closed, and Google Frog, it looks like he wants to just finish this. LT spam time. It's too late for that. With 11 metal? Tough. Seriously? I think that's not going to work. One might come up. Oh, well, okay. No, actually, Google Frog's not going for it quickly enough. You may have a point in this case. Yeah, if you can get and, up five LTs, oh, yeah. you make a chance. You know what? No. Look in the center. Look right here. See that? Oh, it's, uh, it's a cheating car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a cap car. Not much hope. There's some. There's a bit. Google Frog can't quite push in as much as he'd like to, but... Yeah, that cap car grabs the Zeus. It's over. Grabs the warrior, it's over. Oh, Dar's coming in the backside too. Lotus is in the way, but still, Google Frog knows what Fred has. And knowledge is definitely valuable here. Ah, oh, that reclaim, that reclaim. That reclaim is all gone. Google Frog's grabbed it all and turned it all into dominatrices and everything. Dominatrices, Scorchers, no. Reapers. Get on the snipers. He's not. No one built snipers. No one ever built. I've only seen snipers built once, and that was against a felon ball, and that wasn't even a tournament match. That was. One of the exhibition matches I did last week. It was really cool, though. And a warrior being taken. Another warrior about to be taken. No, the Zeus is getting capped. The capped warrior lost, but that's still free for Google. Basically, Google Frog just got that for free. Easy yep. shot there. Scorches from the south. Everything else from the east. Dominatrix is grabbing a glaive. Bad shot, but still something. But not what he wanted. Wants that Zeus. And he's about to get it. Is he going to get it? Oh, 90% on that Zeus, but not quite. And the Zeus is gotten. Google Frog has that Zeus. Fred has nothing. I think Fred's he's giving GG. up. Yeah, he's GG. self -dying. That's game. That is GG! Match. Wow. Yeah. I, Fred, Fred. I agree. Fred, why? You had that match. You could have put it to game three. But no, it's two games. And didn't yeah. ah, that was too close? But yes, that is the quarterfinals leading into the semifinals versus drone. So we shall have Google Frog against drone. 
Are they playing uh, now? Or are yeah, they... pretty much. It's the next game. Cool. Yep. Oh, man. That's... An anarchist pointing out in the chat that everyone in GBC hates Tommy because of him. <laughs> or at least since he reached what? top 10. It says everyone in GBC already hates Domi since I reached top 10. Like, well, I think everyone hated Dominatrix before then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what's happening. I've... Everybody hates Dominatrix. I don't want to think too much about Dominatrixes because yelling and screaming is unprofessional. But Dominatrixes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the most frustrating unit in a game. No, no, there I are other so really much. frustrating units too, but that. That is high up there. I think yeah. Felon almost beats it, except... Actually, Sniper would beat both, wouldn't it? No, I, I don't mind Sniper and Felon. I can handle those. Well, no, I mean, between Felon I mean, and Domi, I think Sniper beats both Felon and Domi. Now that I think about it. No, I don't mind Felon that much. Oh, okay. Because once it's, you know... It's, okay. it's, it's, it's just a straight-up fighting unit. It's kind of honest in it. It's the way it, just, it shoots at you yeah. and you can get away from it. Yeah, I totally agree there. It's just that is something you only really know once you realize the power of... Oh, the game's starting, by the way. Once you realize the power of the... Well... Let me think about this a second. Once you realize the power of the sniper, because snipers are underrated. They are. They oh, are. and yeah, Forbes asking... Forbidden Angel is asking... About the dominatrix. Yes, if you kill the dominatrix, your unit is returned. All the units exactly. that the dominatrix have controlled are returned. That's why there's a little line in all of them, too. So you know which ones are returned. Anyway, game yeah, is that's... starting, so 